This display is composed by Melchiorre Bega's iconic armchairs from the 50s, which have been paired with a contemporary coffee table by designer Martino Gamper, which is made with recycled plastic to try and create an object that is both sustainable and beautiful. Gabetti Isola were designing furniture that was made for domestic life, beautiful but extremely functional. They had to reflect human condition and human needs first. They were making furniture that people wanted to find in their home and wanted to use on a daily basis. Fine lines and elegant shapes together with functional drawers and mirrors are what makes these pieces unique and functional. In this room, you can see some rare and wonderful pieces by Lina Bobardi and Giancarlo Palanti. The desk appears to be an on-request design and not part of the initial product catalog of Estudio Palma. The peculiar Z-shaped legs are indeed another iteration of the boomerang formal element, which was then after taken and branded by Zanine de Caldas for his Moveis Artistico Z furniture. Another amazing piece is the tripe chair which was inspired by the use of Indian hammocks on boats to travel the rivers of the north of Brazil. The specific chairs showcased here belong to the Lina Bobardi approved limited edition of maximum 14 pieces manufactured by Nucleon 8 in the 1980s, which are characterized by rounded arms. Lina described these chairs as both bed and a seat. As in her words, it's wonderful adjustment to the shape of the body and its undulating movement makes it one of the most perfect devices for rest. Work of Nanda Vigo is characterized by a hybrid identity between art and design and the search for the interference of space and light where the object becomes an artwork. The Sun Ra lamps were the last project made before Nanda Vigo's passing and for this reason they remain iconic and extremely unique. Playing with the colors and shades of marble, the surface turn into watercolors and objects in pond crossed by the slow movement of goldfish. The designer has created a low table, console table and dining table, which are all customizable in dimensions and base materials. You can play and customize the marble with any fish you would like to see. Osanna Visconti creations are all made of bronze by mastering the lost wax casting technique. This technique is based on the casting of molten metal inside a negative form created of an engraved wax model. The bamboo bookcase is made with natural bamboo sticks picked from her personal garden and then cast in bronze one by one. This is a wonderful way to bring in your home not only a wonderful design piece but also a piece that relates personally to the designer. This piece is customizable in size and material. This modular sofa, made in Brazil in the 60s, is a very peculiar and special piece. It is in fact very versatile as both the seats and the wooden ribs can be moved and placed in different positions on the wooden structure. The person can sit next to each other or face in different directions. These tables are by contemporary designer Isabella Cornano. In both examples, the tabletops are made on different photos, printed on cotton and covered with a glass case. You can see the objects which you would usually see on top of a table as the main part of it. For this reason, the client can customize the tabletop with objects that are part of their lives and which they usually use in their daily activities. The 3 plus 1 table is a configurable connector that enables convertibility of a metal design that has longevity and it is adaptable to multiple functions. The piece reminds us of the pieces used by artisans' workshops. The table can be customized in dimensions and color. The new project, realized in 2021, is called Halo and is a wonderful round chandelier by Federico Peri. Halo is made from some cylinder tubes held together by a round metal ring. The peculiarity of this piece resides in the metal round ring because the light spreads onwards and downwards from it instead than from the tubes, which is where you would usually find the light source. This piece is ideal for high ceilings and stairwells. It can be customized with warm light and a brass structure. This wonderful set from 1968 by Joaquim Terrero has a particular backseat design and pure lines. Although these are wonderful vintage pieces and cannot be customized, both sofa and armchairs can be reupholstered with any fabric to suit the client's needs. 
The saguara floor lamp by Tommaso Bertocco takes inspiration from the saguaro cactus seen in Western movies. The shapes and the height of the piece remind us of the plant and the color of the structure reminds us of the sand that the plant usually inhabits. The piece is customizable in metal finishes, light color and light intensity. This wonderful sofa is modular and composed of 24 modules, each one detachable. Depending on the room it resides in, it can take many different shapes and forms, like circular or snake-like. This makes it extremely versatile and adaptable to different spaces and different needs. The Venezia chairs, which were originally proposed for the Venice Architectural Biennial in 2014, are inspired by the elegant gondolas that glide over the canals. The seat takes inspiration from the place they were originally thought for. The structure is fluid lines and essential details are perfect and elegant. These seats express purity of the design but also the complexity of the work involved in making them. The piece can be customized in different materials and colors. This cabinet, called Pile of Suitcases by Martin de Soler, is made from the softest leather. The leather does in fact come from the same producers of Hermes leathers. Every piece is unique in color tone and color combination. It can be customized in color combination, size and shape.